Welcome to the VMware Evo SDDC Manager product demonstration. In this video, we will demonstrate the automation capabilities of Evo SDDC Manager. We will begin by creating a new workload domain, designated as an Infrastructure as a Service workload. We will name this Infrastructure as a Service workload IAAS01. Next, we will determine the CPU, memory, and storage resources required for our workload. Now we will specify the performance and availability characteristics of the workload. These choices determine the number of mirrored copies and whether or not striping should be used for vSAN. We can also choose to deploy the vCenter cluster outside our workload domain. Now we will configure networking for our workload domain. This includes defining the management, vMotion, vSAN, vXLAN, and the external networks that will be used. Once the networking configuration is complete, we can review the overall configuration of our Infrastructure as a Service workload. Based on the workload requirements that we entered previously, this Infrastructure as a Service workload will create a cluster with four ESX hosts. Now that the workload has been triggered, the automated configuration process will begin. Now let us switch to the Activities page to check the status of our workload creation. Over the next 45 minutes, the Evo SDDC Manager completes a number of tasks that accelerate and simplify the deployment of a VMware software-defined data center. The Evo SDDC Manager automates the deployment of vCenter. It handles the integration of SSO, vRealize Log Insight, and vRealize Operations Manager. Small but important tasks, such as the configuration of NTP and the creation of VM kernel ports, are also automated. Host names are updated, a new cluster is created, and cluster features, such as HA and DRS, are automatically configured. Evo SDDC Manager enables vSAN, and then creates and applies vSAN policies. With respect to physical networking, Evo SDDC Manager creates the VLAN tags on top of rack switches, and then creates the appropriate MLAGs. Next, it creates the required DV port groups for the external, management, vSAN, and vMotion networks, and tags them with the appropriate VLAN ID. LACP is also configured on the virtual distributed switch. The lag group is created, uplinks are defined, and the host adapters are migrated. Next, the NSX manager is deployed and registered with vCenter. A controller IP range is defined, and three controllers are deployed. A VXLAN segment ID range and transport zones are also created. The first logical switch is then created, and finally, the NSX license is assigned. The automation of these tasks saves the VMware administrator a significant amount of time and ensures a consistent configuration. Now let us log into the vCenter server that was automatically deployed to take a look at the work the Evo SDDC Manager just automated. Here we can see some of the virtual machines that are deployed as part of the workload creation. We can also see the ESX hosts that make up the cluster that was created as a part of this workload deployment. We can see the vSAN data store that has been created and also distributed port groups on the virtual distributed switch. Finally, let us look at the installation of NSX. Here we can see that the NSX manager has been installed and a logical switch has been defined. VMware Evo SDDC Manager provides the accelerated deployment capabilities required to simplify the deployment of the VMware software-defined data center. This concludes the VMware Evo SDDC Manager product demonstration. Thank you.